Good morning, everybody. I am making breakfast. And my husband is off today, so he has requested turkey bacon, eggs, and toast. So I am going to bake my turkey bacon in the oven. So I'm just getting this prepared. Just going to often. We used to eat it all the time, but um, I've been making, I call it real bacon, and he said he would like to have some turkey bacon, so that's what I'm making for him. Right, I'm just going to pop this in the oven for uh, about 10 minutes, I'd say. Turkey bacon cooks much, much faster than and I also want some little waffles, so I'm going to get out my little mini cheetah print waffle maker and I'm going to make me some mini waffles. y'all so breakfast is done and I am fixing to head to work but I wanted to get on here and just share another dream that I had um, it was very interesting and I had this dream Sunday night um, I was dreaming I was in New York and I was kind of set far off to where I could kind of see. I wasn't at ground level. I was a little bit elevated. Um, and I saw four white statues. It was just the heads of four previous presidents. Um, I'm thinking it was like Lincoln, Washington, and maybe Adams. I couldn't really recall the other one. I definitely couldn't recall. I just knew there were four presidents. And um, there, it was almost like the ground was consumed with crashing waves. And I looked over and I saw the Statue of Liberty. And on each side of her, she had two white statues. Um, and I couldn't tell it was either a lion or really big vicious dogs. But one of them was attacking her. And she was bent over hitting it with her torch, trying to get it to stop attacking her. Um, it was really interesting. Um, and so then it was like I was transported to Canada and waves and rushing waters were all over. Um, it was just devastation. And then I was transported to um, Alaska. And it was the same thing. Um, it was very, very interesting. The Lord has, um, you know, I'm just going to be real transparent and honest with you guys about what he has been sharing with me. Um, I really feel like there are two countries um, that are going to come against us very soon. And if you are paying attention to anything, um, you'll know exactly what two countries I'm talking about. Um, and God loves us so much that he's going to send us warnings. 
Um, he isn't a God waiting to just send wrath and destruction because he wants to. Um, he's warning his people right now, right this moment. And um, take heed, guys. Get prepared. Stay prayed up. Um, he has led me, um, for some reason, back to the old, um, I say old, it's over 20 years old, the old Left Behind movies. And it's interesting, it's like the media, if we pay attention, always prepares us for what's coming, if you pay attention. And, um, I mean, there was, what, the movie, um, Pandemic, you want to go back to that and watch it, um, Conspiracy Theory, there are just several guys, it's odd how, um, the media always prepares us before something happens, um, and in, you know, those movies there were, you know, a respiratory illness and then a vaccination and all those things, um, but the Lord led me back to, um, watch the Left Behind movies, binge watch them, and it was interesting because in the third one, I think it's the third one, there's a respiratory illness, and they were, you know, like trying to get vaccines, and um, it was killing people, it was killing, they had tainted the Bibles and stuff, and it was killing Christians, um, and, uh, you know, I've been dealing with some stuff since COVID, like my face is, I didn't realize this, a friend called me, let me put this into order, okay, so it can make more sense, um, I watched those movies, binge watched them Sunday, and then, um, Monday morning, I'm saying bye to my husband, y'all, he's, he's hopping off our old cabinets, Monday morning, a very, very dear best friend called me, and she said, Stephanie, I was watching your videos, and uh, you look swollen, and I said, do I? She said, are you okay? Is your heart rate okay? Um, she said, I've noticed some other people that have had the, the sickness, um, and their face swells, their cheeks are swelling, and I was like, I never really paid attention, and so she said, well, I watched your last video, and I noticed it, and I just want to check on you, make sure you're okay, so I rewatched the video, and then I went into the bathroom, and I looked, and you can see, um, I, my face is swollen, um, fortunately, I haven't gained any weight, <laughs> um, but my face is swollen, and then, um, there's some other people that I have been around, um, closely, that recently had the sickness and their faces are swollen. And so I was praying, God, what is this? What, what is this? You know, people tend to have some, mostly the same kind of um, reactions to things sometimes, sometimes not. Um, but with this one, I'm seeing more and more have the same thing. And I was praying, God, what is this? What do I do? And uh, he whispered of red wine. And Sunday I had told Chris, um, the Lord has led me to watch these movies for some reason, and I don't know what it is. And in that third movie, they took communion, and that's what healed. And I was speaking to one of my other very best friends, kind of processing these dreams and what the Lord spoke to me and revealed to me. And uh, she was led to do the same thing. Um, see, God helps confirm. He helps confirm. Um, because we don't just trust. We're, we're not a trusting people. <laughs> if we did, we would be happy and trusting him all the time. Um, so he sends confirmations. And he sent a confirmation through this, uh, through my soul sister. Um, because she, too, was led to to watch these same movies from over 20 years ago. I mean, people don't even remember movies from 20 years ago, but um, she was led for the same thing. And um, and she's like, she said, Stephanie, communion is the meal that heals. 
And she's so right. And so, um, God wasn't asking me to go out and, and buy red wine and get drunk or anything like that. I don't drink. Um, and I'm just going to be real transparent. Um, I was thinking, okay, Lord, if, if you're telling me red wine, I will go. And I went to Food City and I... Um, got stuff for supper, and I was very conflicted, and I said, Lord, and I'm not saying drinking's bad, this is just a personal thing for me, so don't think that I'm saying if you drink that you're hellbound or anything like that, because that is absolutely, we all have different personal convictions, but as a pastor's wife, I, I elevate mine a little bit more. And, and I, I was praying as I was walking through Food City, and I was like, God, if I feel this conflicted about buying that, Please show me something. Um, because communion is the meal that heals, and, and you need to take communion, not just on Easter and Christmas and the special occasions the churches do it. You take communion, you commune with God. That's what he's telling us. Commune with me, children. I am where the healing is at. And so I said, okay, Lord, I'm going to go down the juice aisle. And some of you might have noticed this. I have never in my life seen a bottle of red grape juice. I've always seen Concord grape juice, Cran grape, those types of things, but I have never in my life seen red grape juice. <clears throat> and I just kind of had church right in the middle of Food City. I was just thanking the Lord um, because where he provided, where my conviction was, it was beautiful. Um, so I've been doing uh, my communion. You guys can make unleavened bread. I've got to make some now. I, I, I haven't. I've communed with the red grape juice, but I have not made um, some unleavened bread. But I'm going to do that this evening, and that will be in tomorrow's video. Um, so you guys can learn how to make it. Um, so you can also commune at home. Um, but it, it's just, God is speaking to his people. He is calling people, and I'm not going to be silent when he gives me things. If it brings one person to him, that is a crown to be laid at the feet of Jesus. Um, so I'm not going to sit on these things and not share them when I have them. But guys, he's speaking, and... Uh, you can't trust what you see on TV, but you can do research because it's out there. I promise you it's out there. The truth is out there. Um, <clears throat> and America is on a very slippery slope. A very slippery slope. When a nation turns his, his, his ways from God, God sends warnings. Wake up, people. You're, you're straying too far. And then... When nobody wakes up, then there's wrath. Um, and I feel like that's coming to a country near you, just to be honest. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and share that with you. Um, guys, please stay prepared. Stay spiritually prepared. Walk in the Spirit. These times are hard. But stay prayed up and commune with Him. Commune with Him. It's the meal that heals. So I'm going to go to work now. Um, I love you guys. I love you very much. That's why I'm getting on here saying all this crazy stuff. It's not crazy though. Um, but I love you guys. And, and you know what? I, I care about your salvation. And I care about being able to mm, walk the streets of gold with you. And... Rest your feet in the river of life. Um, can't imagine going to a place feeling nothing but peace and joy. And that's what awaits us. Um, so I'll share these things every time I get them. And um, it was a very interesting dream. And... Uh, New York was being consumed. 
the Statue of Liberty was trying her best, but the waves, as she bent over, they just kept crashing over her. And that beast, whatever it was, whether a lion or a dog, I really couldn't tell because it was their backs were to me, was taking her under. It was taking her under. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Um, I would love for you to be a part of my family. We have a whole lot of fun on this channel. I'm trying to get to where I um, have 50 subscribers. <laughs> There's going to be a party when I get 50 subscribers because then I can go live. Um, so that's what I would really like to do. Um, anyway, I love you guys and I will see you.